let's learn about preprocessor operator defined so defined can be used only with if and elif directives so its syntax is very simple and straightforward defined is the keyword so we need to pass a macro name to it so if that macro name is defined then it would return true or one so in that case the block of code inside this if directive gets executed okay so let me define it you can see the highlighting of the block of code inside if and end if directive so let me paste this area so check the highlighting of this if i remove this it would be disabled okay the the block of code which is highlighted is the one which gets compiled and executed so defined can also be used along with elif so i'll pass another macro name to it if that's defined it will print out circumference of circle so check it i'll copy this and replace the area here check the highlighting of code so now this line of code gets compiled and executed you could also surround this defined keyword with parenthesis that's also valid syntax by the way so if both these uh, macro names are not defined then the code inside else directive gets executed in all these cases i'm just writing single line of code but imagine having hundreds of lines of codes in that case you will save consider considerable amount of memory and space okay so instead let me call a function here area underscore circle so here in the next line i'll call circumference underscore circle or something like that okay so let me ask the user to enter the value for radius of the circle so i'll take a floating point variable r and ask the user to input the value of radius of the circle radius of circle and store it inside the address of floating point variable r and now let me pass this value entered by the user to these functions that is area underscore circle and circumference underscore circle so let me quickly define these methods we have already seen these uh, programs previously so i'll i'll simply write it very quickly so inside this function itself i am printing out the result so area of circle is percentage f so here itself i'll write the formula to calculate area of circle that is pi r square i'll write pi into r into r so let me define this pi so ash define pi i'll paste this value so since this is this function isn't returning anything its return type is void so let me copy this quickly and paste it so that we could write definition for circumference and underscore circle so circumference of circle is so the formula is 2 pi r 2 into pi into r that's it so let me even uh, write the prototype for these methods and then with that we could cut this these two line two code that is block of codes for defining area and circumference of circle and paste it anywhere inside our source code file so that's it so let us compile and see if we have an error it's always good practice to compile it and check it going before going any further okay because we we have an error here i know that we have written wrong spelling for float f l o a t this is what happens when we copy paste the code inside definition also we have written the same thing because we copy pasted those things so i'll change these things too please make sure to double check before copy pasting your code okay so that's it let me 
compile and run this program we have defined area here so only area of circle should be printed okay so the code inside if directive gets executed now let me define this so circumference of circle gets printed out now and it skips the code for calculating area of circle and it's working if we remove all these things then the block of code inside else directive gets executed code to be implemented which is present inside else block so this is how we make use of defined preprocessor operator to check if some if the given macro name is actually defined or not in case it's defined it will return true or one in case it is not defined then it would return zero or false that's it and it can only be used with if and elif directives so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and share this video with your friends using whatsapp telegram linkedin Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.